We live in an age where information is everything. From the messages on your phone to the data in your brain, we are immersed in a digital sea of bits and bytes. But what if I told you that information is far more than just something humans store on hard drives or in libraries? What if I told you that information is a fundamental part of the universe itself, that the cosmos stores information in ways we're only beginning to understand? That's not science fiction, it's science fact. The idea that the universe encodes, preserves, and processes information goes far deeper than computers or consciousness. It stretches into thermodynamics, quantum mechanics, and even the mystery of black holes, the most extreme objects in the known universe. And understanding how information flows through reality may be the key to answering some of our deepest questions. What is time? Why does entropy increase? And what happens to information when something disappears into a black hole? Let's start with a simple yet profound idea. Information can never truly be destroyed. This isn't just a poetic notion. It's a principle embedded in physics. In classical mechanics and quantum theory, the evolution of any closed system is deterministic. That means if you know everything about a system right now, in theory, you can predict everything that will happen in the future and reconstruct everything that happened in the past. This works because the information about the system is preserved over time. But there's a problem. That's not what we observe in real life. In everyday experience, things fall apart. Systems go from order to disorder. Ice melts, wood burns, stars collapse. This march from order to chaos is described by the second law of thermodynamics. Entropy always increases. Entropy is a measure of disorder, but it's also a measure of missing information. The more entropy something has, the less you know about its precise state. So, when a system becomes more disordered, it doesn't lose information, it hides it. This paradox is central to understanding how the universe manages information. Entropy increases, but total information doesn't disappear. It just gets harder to track. Imagine burning a book. The words vanish. The pages turn to ash, but all the molecules are still there. The information is still somewhere, dispersed into the smoke, the heat, and the air. Nowhere does this principle collide more violently with our understanding than in the case of black holes. These cosmic monsters are regions of space where gravity is so intense that not even light can escape. Drop something in and it's gone. Forever, as far as classical physics is concerned. But here's the problem. If black holes destroy information, that violates the most basic rules of quantum mechanics. And physics can't allow that. This conflict sparked what's known as the black hole information paradox. It was made famous by Stephen Hawking, who in the 1970s showed that black holes aren't truly black. They emit radiation, now known as Hawking radiation, due to quantum effects near the event horizon. Over immense timescales, this radiation causes black holes to shrink and eventually evaporate. But here's the catch. Hawking's original calculation suggested this radiation is completely random. It carries no information about what fell in. If true, that means information is lost forever. And that would break the rules of quantum mechanics. For decades, physicists were stuck. One pillar of physics had to give, either quantum theory or general relativity, and neither side wanted to blink. But slowly, a new picture began to emerge, one in which information isn't lost in black holes. Instead, it's somehow encoded in the quantum fields near the event horizon. Maybe the information comes out scrambled in the Hawking radiation. Maybe the horizon acts like a hologram, storing a perfect record of everything that's ever fallen in. This idea led to the holographic principle, one of the most radical concepts in modern theoretical physics. It proposes that all the information contained in a volume of space can be described by data encoded on its boundary, just like a hologram stores a 3D image on a flat surface. In a sense, the universe might be a hologram, where everything we see and touch is a projection of more fundamental information stored at the edges of reality. The holographic principle isn't just poetic. It's backed by hard math. In string theory and quantum gravity research, it's becoming a key piece in unifying our understanding of space-time and information. In this framework, black holes don't destroy information. They process it. They act like nature's most extreme computers. This ties into another mind-bending idea. The universe as a computation. Some physicists and information theorists believe that physical processes are, at their core, computational. Every interaction, every particle collision, every decay is like a calculation. The laws of physics aren't just constraints, they're programs. The particles are the data. The universe is the processor. 
Even the Big Bang, some argue, may have been the universe booting up with the ultimate zero to one switch, from a singularity of no volume, no time, and no entropy, to a hot expanding cosmos where information begins to flow. And ever since, the entropy of the universe has been increasing. But again, increasing entropy doesn't mean information is disappearing. It means the information is becoming more spread out, more entangled, and more complex. And that brings us back to you. You are part of this universal computation. Your brain stores information in electrical patterns, firing across billions of neurons. But you're also made of atoms, obeying quantum laws. The information about you, your body, your memories, your choices, is embedded in the universe. Every interaction you've had, every breath, every step, leaves an imprint, however small, in the fabric of reality. And remarkably, we may even be able to measure some of this. Quantum information theory is now being used to study everything from biology to black holes. Scientists are using concepts like entanglement entropy to probe how systems store and share information at the tiniest scales. Entanglement, the spooky quantum connection between particles, may be the key to understanding how space itself is woven together. Some researchers even believe that space-time emerges from entanglement, that the fabric of the universe is the product of pure information relationships. So next time you wonder how much a gigabyte can hold, consider this. A black hole stores information on its surface, not its volume. A single grain of sand, if compressed into a black hole, could theoretically contain trillions of times more information than a modern computer. The laws of nature have found ways to pack, preserve, and entangle information far beyond anything we can currently replicate. But we're getting closer. With quantum computers, scientists are building machines that don't just compute like classical devices. They manipulate information at the quantum level. These machines may one day model the entire cosmos, simulate black holes, or even unlock the mysteries of consciousness. And all of it circles back to one central idea, that information is not just something humans use. It's something the universe is built from. So what does this mean for us? It means we are not separate from the information web. We are threads in it. We are physical, biological, and informational beings in a universe where information is sacred. And by understanding how it flows, degrades, preserves, and transforms, we may unlock not just the secrets of physics, but of life, memory, time, and existence itself. Thanks for watching. If your mind was blown by the hidden ways the universe stores information, from entropy to black holes, hit that like button and share this video with someone who loves deep questions. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We've got more thought-provoking journeys into science, space, and reality itself coming soon. Until next time, stay curious, and remember, you are made of stardust and code.